All right, hello, hello, hello. Um, I just wanted to take a moment to walk you through what's out there in your week seven learning module. You'll notice that it does say uh, we're almost halfway done, which feels kind of crazy, right? Like we're we're almost to that halfway point. So um, you will go through and continue reading in the Omnivore's Dilemma book, and you do have as normal should be no shock at this point, your discussion board related to the information in that those two chapters. Um, so this idea of taking ruminants off grass, I usually get this question, what does it mean? What are what is a ruminant? Um, and, and to simply answer that question would be um, an animal with a uh, four compartment stomach, right? So an animal that essentially chews its cud. So an animal that eats grass, swallows grass, goes into that first compartment, which is the rumen, and then regurgitates that, re-chews that, and then swallows, and then goes through the other three compartments of the stomach. So back into the rumen, the abomasum, omasum. Um, so it's a four compartment stomached animal. <laughs> um, so a lot of students ask me like, what does that mean? Um, and then uh, you're gonna walk through an opportunity to enjoy a meal with um, Joel and his family. So I just ask you to kind of reflect on that. Um, I post a video that walks you through uh, Joel's methods in terms of how he rotates his chickens and moves them through the pasture and the impact that that has on not only um, the soil, but also just the health of his, his poultry. Um, you're going to go through this industrial pig farm scenario. So he's going to talk about the docking of tails um, and we're going to kind of start this conversation a little bit around humane and inhumane treatment of animals and kind of the ethics around consuming meat and meat products. Um, and then um, Polyface Farms share some figures around some of the things that they're harvesting. So in this, uh, you're introduced to this idea of pasture-raised poultry, rotating, soil health, those sorts of things. And um, the Stockman grass farmer is cited in your text in that chapter 10. So I bring you out to this website um, and I ask you to go out and look at all of the different articles that are out here um, for the public, right? So for people to go in and just view in terms of understanding soil health, um, but also raising livestock um, on pasture, those sorts of things. So you're gonna come in, you're gonna look through these different um, articles and you're going to choose one, right? So as you're scrolling through these, you might think to yourself, oh, this one looks really cool. This is how we roll. Um, <clears throat> talking about dung beetles and um, their impact in terms of like breaking down manure and those sorts of things. So you'll read through this article. This is not the article you have to choose. Like I said, you're going to choose one and then you will come back to your journal for the week um, and make your contribution answering this question. So looking at the website, uh, there's some articles there. Find an article, read it, summarize it. Make sure your summary follows these requirements. Remember, you're going to click here to create this journal entry, um, and then you'll submit that for grading this week. The other thing that you're going to move into for your Let's Connect this week is um, as we approach midterm week, there's definitely a holy moly, like I'm feeling super stressed. Um, and I will, I think the stress is probably even more this semester than in normal semesters. Um, if you've been watching the news, you certainly know that there's a lot going on right now with Ukraine and Russia. Um, that for some people can be an added element of stress. We're still living in, uh, it's been, I think, formally moved from a pandemic to an endemic, but we're still, we're still struggling with everything related to COVID. Um, there's rising prices at the grocery store. 
there's just a lot, a lot of things going on. Um, and then you add, obviously, being a student on top of that, approaching midterm week. This is where students start to feel super overwhelmed. They start to feel like, holy moly, I'm not sure if I can do that. There's a lot of self-doubt. Um, we talked about that in the beginning of the semester, that self-efficacy piece telling yourself that you can do it. But this might be a point where you're questioning like whether or not you can do this. And so it seems appropriate in week seven to go back to our counseling services badges and have you complete um, two badges from from our counseling services. So I'm asking you to work through the coping with stress badge and also the self-care badge. These are both really important things to be considering anytime, not just as you move into midterm week, but really strategies for self-care. Um, what are some things that you can do to ensure that in the midst of all of this chaos, you are taking care of yourself, right? Um, and what are some things that you do to take care of yourself and how do you recognize those things? Um, coping with stress, what are your triggers? What are the things that you tend to do when you're stressed out? Um, if you are a person that when you're stressed out, you shut down and you just want to like crawl in a dark hole, <laughs> um, how do you then re-motivate yourself to say like, I'm going to set aside some time to be able to uh, accomplish those tasks that I need to accomplish. So those badges are going to walk you through some strategies. They're going to walk you through um, identifying those moments when you're feeling stressed and then giving you some tools in your toolbox as you move into um, week eight, which is for most most courses midterms, it's the halfway point. It really is that moment where you are like, holy moly, um, things, things are kind of crazy. So I want you to take some time to work through those and really reflect on that um, and make sure that you have some tools in your toolbox to uh, be super effective as we move into midterm weeks. So as always, um, if you have questions, comments, or concerns, please reach out. Um, otherwise, I hope you all have a fantastic week.